Notion is a dynamic and customizable workspace that allows you to capture, create, and organize basically anything that you can think of, from creating and managing contacts, projects, and tasks, to creating a content planner and more. Essentially, you can run your entire small business online using Notion. And today, I'm going to share how small business owners can leverage Notion to set up business systems, manage operations, and create an all-in-one workspace that is designed and personalized to the way that works for you and your team. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into Notion, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out the way, let's go ahead and get your small business up and running with Notion. Okay, so to get started with Notion, simply head over to your browser and type in notion.so or feel free to click the link in our description below this video and that's going to take you here. Then what we want to do is go ahead and get started with Notion for free. Then to create an account, add your work email or sign up with Google or Apple. I'm going to go ahead and add my business email. For me, I'm going to continue with email, then add the code that was sent to your email. Here you want to add your name and then a password. You also have the option to add an image, but we can do this later on inside our account. So go ahead and add your name and then password. And I do not want to receive marketing materials from Notion because this is just an example account. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and click on continue. And because I want to use Notion as a central place for all my activities, knowledge and tools for my small business, I want to navigate up to for my team and then click on continue. Then go ahead and navigate through these questions, then come down and hit continue. Here we want to create a workspace. Now think of the workspace inside Notion as the top level of your account. And because I'm using Notion for my small business, I only need one workspace. So I'm going to navigate down here and add the name of my small business. Then once you've added your business name, go ahead and click on continue. Now we can customize this further later on. Here we can invite team members to collaborate with us on our Notion account. I'm going to navigate down and skip this for now because we can do this inside our Notion account. Now before we dive into our Notion workspace, it's important to understand the structure of Notion. Like I mentioned, at the top level we have workspace and this is our organization. Within workspace, we have team spaces. And you can see your team spaces over on the left hand side. As you can see, we have one general team space and we also have a marketing team space. Then within our team spaces, we have pages or templates. And as you can see, this is a brand asset template. Now, if I navigate up to my general team space and click on this plus icon, I can either create a new blank page or I can choose from a pre-made template and that's gonna add that page or template within this team space. Let's go ahead and create a blank page and as you can see, that new blank page has been added under this team space. And within our pages or templates, we have page elements. For example, if I click on empty page and then hit forward slash, we have access to these block elements that we can add to our page. We can also use AI to generate content. We can add different types of media to our pages as well as create databases and add other types of blocks down here as well as integrations and embeds. So if I navigate back up to the top, I could simply add a table. And then you have different options for customizing your blocks the way that you like. Now in terms of pricing, Notion offers a completely free plan that generously allows you to collaborate with up to 10 people, access unlimited blocks, as well as key integrations and more. The main limitations are you do not have access to groups and you have quota limits. However, the free plan is more than sufficient enough for small businesses. Okay, so now we want to leverage Notion to set up our small business systems, operations, and activities. To do that, let's navigate over to Team Spaces and click on General. Then click on these three dots, and then click on Team Space Settings. Here we can navigate down and add members to this Team Space. And if they're currently not part of my account, I can go ahead and send an email. And that's gonna invite that person to my Team Space. I can also click on this drop down and choose either Team Space Owner, which gives them full access, or just Team Space Member. I'm happy with Team Space Member, and then I'm going to click on this person and hit Invite. Next, we can navigate over to General, and we can change the Team Space name and icon. If I click here, I can change the name, and if I click on the logo or the icon, I can add a new icon emoji or add a custom icon. I'm going to navigate down and select this icon and then this color. 
Okay, so let's click out of this team space settings. Now I want to remove these default pages and templates from this team space. To do that, all I need to do is click on the three dots and then click on delete. And I'm going to do that with each of these four pages. Okay, so as you can see, I have a clean team space. And remember we have this other team space here. I'm gonna click on this arrow to minimize those pages within this team space. And I can click on these three dots and I can go ahead and manage this team space. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and actually archive this team space because I just wanna use one team space for the purpose of today's tutorial. Now under private, this is where I can add specific pages or templates that are private to only me. Okay, so back under our main team space, let's go ahead and add our first page. And there are a few different pages that I want to add. The first is a CRM, a customer relationship management tool. To do that, simply navigate over to browse templates. And like I mentioned, you can create a blank page from scratch or you can leverage a pre-made template. The great thing about Notion is they provide thousands of templates that you can use and then customize the way that you like. So I'm gonna navigate up here and search for CRM. And here we have a sales CRM. I'm going to click on this template and I like the look of this sales CRM. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on get template. And as you can see within our general team space, we now have a sales CRM. Okay, so let's go ahead and add another page and then click on browse templates. And this time I want to add projects and tasks because I not only want to manage my customers with a CRM inside of Notion, I also wanna manage my projects and tasks. Okay, so I'm going to get this template. And as you can see, we now have a tasks template and we also have a projects template. So think about what else you want to manage and organize inside Notion for your business. I'm going to navigate back up to add page and then click on browse templates. And I want to add a page where my team can collaborate on our vision and strategy. I like the look of this template. I'm gonna go ahead and click on get template. And last but not least, I wanna create one more template page within our team space general, and this is going to be a collaborative page for sharing ideas. I'm going to click browse templates and then type in brain. And I'm going to use this remote brainstorming template. I like the look of this, remote brainstorming. I'm going to select get template. And now if we navigate over to the left-hand side under our team space general, we now have five template pages that we can leverage, that we can use to manage our business on Notion. First, we have remote brainstorming. This is where our remote team can collaborate on ideas. Above that, we have vision and strategy, and this is a collaborative page discussing our vision and strategy. Above that, we have projects, and this is where we can manage our different projects. We have different views, timeline, board, and all. Above projects, we can manage our tasks. This is where we can manage our tasks associated to our projects. And above that, we have our sales CRM. Here we have default deals that we can customize and then move these deals through our pipeline. If we click on all records, here we can add all our different contacts. And then we have more views over here like high priority and then estimated value. Now with each of these template pages over on the left hand side, you can customize them the way that you like. For example, under projects, we can click on four hidden groups. And as you can see, we have a planning group in progress, pause, backlog, done and canceled. Now, if we navigate up to the top, you can see these are default projects. What we can do is click open and we can simply add our own project details. This could be a web design project, I can then customize the status, change the owner responsible for this project, change the dates, and then customize these other properties down here. We can also add a new property. For example, this could be files and media. I'm happy with the name and icon. And under this property, what I can do is add files to this project. Then if we navigate down this project, you can see we have associated tasks. Again, you can click on each of these different properties. I can change the name, change the status, change the owner, and then click on open. And that's gonna open up this tasks details. You can see the properties on the left hand side and then you can see some subtasks down here. I'm going to minimize this. Now, just quickly before I get back to this video, I just wanna mention my all-in-one digital playbook that you guys might be interested in called Go Digital Now, the ultimate small business playbook. This dynamic book took me a year to create and is ideal for small business owners, new and existing, that are looking for a clear-cut digital roadmap for setting up the right tools, systems, activities, and strategies so that you can absolutely dominate online. I will add a link in the description below this video if you wanna learn more about Go Digital now. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get back to this video. 
And with each of your pages, you can change the way that your pages look. For example, I can add a cover image. I'm gonna go ahead and change this. And I can choose from the gallery or I can upload my own image. For now, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose this color. Then if we click out of here, we can also change the icon. I can add an emoji icon or upload a custom icon. I'm going to look for the tick emoji and add this icon. We can also navigate up to add description and add a description for this page, this template. Now, like I mentioned on your pages, you can add different types of blocks. You can also add different types of views to represent the data in different ways on your pages. With projects, you can see we have active tasks and that is a table view. We have a timeline view as well as a board view. And then we can navigate over here and add a new view if we like by adding new empty view. And then we can choose the type of view. I'm gonna select calendar and then click on done. You can then customize the view. You can add an icon. You can change the name of this view and you can customize the view in terms of what data displays. For example, with properties, I can choose to hide or show each of these different properties. I'm gonna navigate up to date and click here. And this view is going to show the different dates within this page. So let's navigate back over to active. You can see that we have the dates over here. If I navigate over to calendar, you can also see those dates on this calendar view. Now with projects and tasks, what we can do is simply click on new to add a new project, or if I close this and then navigate over to tasks, I can simply add a new task. And the same is said for the CRM. If we navigate over to the sales CRM, and let's say I wanted to add a new record, I can simply navigate over to add new, and I can add the new records details. And remember with each of these pages, you can customize the type of data, the type of property that you wanna to add to your pages. I'm going to close this and then create a blank page within this team space. Simply click on blank page and I can create anything that I like. Now this page is all about discussing different service ideas that our business can offer. I'm going to add a cover. I'm going to change this and add this color. Then I'm going to navigate over to the icon, add an icon by clicking on icons and I can simply search for the icon that I want to use. I'm just gonna use this icon here and then select this gray color, then select empty page. And here we can start creating our blank page. I'm going to add a table by clicking forward slash. And here we have the table block. I'm going to navigate up here, make this wider and this one here. And then I'm going to select options and then add the header row. And over here, I'm going to add new service idea. And then over here, I'm going to add service extensions. And just quickly, I'm going to add a few ideas. Then if I come down here, I can add another row and I can also add a column over here. Now let's navigate down below here and see what other blocks we can add. We can add a to-do list. Then if I hit enter, that's gonna add another tick box. Now if I click enter again and then forward slash, we can simply add plain text. We can embed a sub page inside a page. We can add headers, a toggle list if we like. And then if I come down, you can see for this block, our top three ideas. If I click this drop down, this is currently an empty toggle. I can add content within this toggle. And then if I click on this toggle here, you can see that I can expand this content. Okay, so let's navigate down here, click enter, forward slash, and check out some other blocks that you can leverage. We can embed media like images, videos, and audios. For example, I'm going to add one of my YouTube video links and then click on embed. And you can see that video has been embedded down here. Now let's navigate down further and then click on forward slash and navigate through these different blocks and you can see we can add these other elements. For example, let's add this button and you can set up automations with this button. However, I'm not going to talk too much about automations in this Notion tutorial. Now, if I click down here, I can also hit space and you can use AI to help you create anything that you like. You can also access these examples down here. Here we can use AI to summarize this content. We can use AI to translate our content on our pages. We can improve writing, fix spelling grammar, make longer, change tone, simplify language, create different types of drafts, and more down here. For example, let's click on brainstorm ideas, brainstorm ideas on web design services that we can provide, and then hit enter. And as you can see, AI has gone ahead and generated this content. Now with any of our content, what we can do is highlight, and we can leverage AI again. And then we have these other formatting options. We can add a link, add a comment, use these different formatting options, and then click on these three dots. You can see that we have more actions down here. 
What I want to do is add one more template to this team space and that is going to be a social media planner. Currently I have created everything I need to manage my business online except for a social media planner. To do that simply click on browse templates or you can create one from scratch. Then I'm going to start typing social media and then hit social media calendar and this is going to help me better structure and create consistency in my social media activities. I'm going to go ahead and click on get template. Okay so I'm happy with this team space. Now what we can also do is add a new team space if we like by clicking new team space and then navigating down and adding your team space details. And this depends on how you want to manage all your different pages within Notion. However, like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, as a small business owner, you only really need to deal with one team space. Okay, so let's exit out of this and then head over to settings and members. Come down and click on my account. Make sure your account details are correct. Then navigate over to my settings. And here you can manage your appearance as well as date and privacy. Now more importantly for branding, what we wanna do is click on settings and then add your custom branded Notion domain. So the name of this example business is Go Digital Today. So what we wanna do is add that name in here. And as you can see, that domain is available. I'm going to navigate down and click on update. Now with each of your pages, you can simply navigate up to share and you can share internally with your team by adding people, groups or emails in here. Or you can navigate over to publish and you can publish this particular page to the web by simply clicking publish to web. And by copying this web link, we can share this page, this social media calendar page to anyone online. And that person will be able to access a static version of this page. If you're sharing this page and you want people to be able to duplicate this page as their own template so that they can customize this template within their own Notion account, then you want to make sure this is selected. You can also choose these other options like link expires, allow editing, allow comments, and search engine indexing. So for example, maybe I created a social media calendar for my clients. Then what I wanna do is make sure that I can share this with my clients publicly. And that way my clients can see a static social media calendar page and they can stay updated with the social media planner. So there are many reasons why you want to publish your pages online publicly. For example, I sell a few Notion templates and in order to sell Notion templates, what I want to do is allow duplicate as templates. So when a potential customer accesses this link they can then use this template as their own okay so i'm going to unpublish this for now and then navigate down here however that is it for this notion tutorial helping your small business leverage notion to manage and organize your different business activities and operations if you want to learn more about notion what i'll do is add a few tutorials down below in the description to help you dive deeper into notion and there we have it guys, that is it for this Notion tutorial for small business owners. Now if you have any questions about Notion, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.